Hey, this is Notzer, and today we're talking about the Julius Caesar testing and premium ship status. This is related to the Tier 6 version of the Julius Caesar, and Wargaming has released a public statement. This is discussing the topic. The game in the background is myself in the Ranger. This is a pretty quick game because, honestly, the statement's pretty quick. So I wanted to just share something in the background. Sorry, it's not the Tier 6 Julius Caesar. You know, that's how it works out. But... What is this related to, Notzer? What uh, delicious information are we going to hear? Well, this, this will be positive for most of the community because most of the community apparently supported this. Wargaming is abandoning all initiatives to rebalance the Julius Caesar at Tier 6. The testing version of that ship is no longer going to be available. They will not be individually rebalancing premium ships which were purchased in or directly marketed through the premium shop. Now, they've got some reasons that they'll share, and we'll talk about those reasons, but this was because, let's face it, the ship was already purchased. And people don't like when things are weakened. Even though, technically, it's, it's more powerful because it's at Tier 6, its relative power is weaker. And that perception there influences people's uh, perception of discussing the topic. So, while many of the community did support the idea of promoting more balanced and fair play, most are not willing to support this if it means changing purchased premium ships. And I completely agree, because most people are completely fine with the idea of stuff existing in an overpowered state. If they're the ones who own it, that's not their problem. That's basically, I think, the thought there. Many of us let us know that the perfect balance in each ship group is not as critical for you as they assumed. However, the confidence that the stats of purchase premiums are not to be nerfed is much more important. It was not the only opinion voiced, but it was the most frequent in all discussed topics on all platforms. So, I mean, it just reiterates what I just said. The player base as a whole would rather have overpowered ships than a balanced game. And you know what? That's just how they roll. You know, whatever. Uh, according to the majority of your opinions, having several overperforming premium ships in the game is not an issue for you, given the fact that they are not sold directly and they can be countered under the right circumstances. So I, I guess the theory here is that it's okay that a ship exists overpowered because when it will participate in ranked or clan or random or whatever, good players know how to counter it with specific builds and specific ships. And that's the only thing that matters. As long as there is a, a solution to the problem, player base as a whole will not be willing to uh, cause the ship to be changed or rebalanced. I also agree with this assessment because this is the unfortunate reality that I have come to, to see as well. The player base just, just does not value balance the way that some people do. And, you know, that's whatever. I, what can I say? I'm part of the community. I just have to go along with this. I don't have any say. Testing the Julius Caesar on Tier 6 has shown that it can indeed be balanced for a Tier 6 battleship. However, her gameplay experience changed too dramatically. The same is true for alternative rebalance options, aka nerf on Tier 5. So these were the reasons given for why the Julius Caesar will not be seen at Tier 6. The testing for that is halted, and overpowered premiums will not be moved up a tier in the future. Now, maybe they go back and they change this again because maybe at some point the community realizes, wow, this is really stupid. But as it stands right now, that's their, their stance on the topic. Quote, Given the fact that they're not directly sold and that they can be countered under the right circumstances, overpowered premiums have established counterplay. <laughs> Oh, this just, this just solidifies why I don't like competitive. Because overpowered ships are allowed to absolutely dominate, cause 
huge influence over it. The mere existence of the Stalingrad completely throws off the balance of Tier 10 because it directly influences your decision making. Just as this is going to, you know, the Belfast at Tier 7, the Julius Caesar at Tier 5, the Kamikaze at Tier 5, the T-61 at Tier 6, the Massachusetts at Tier 8. You know, all of these really powered, powerful premiums. They exist. They will influence whatever gameplay. They will be a very popular pick for whatever ta uh, bracket a tier happens to be at. And that's just part of the gameplay. Note that they didn't say anything about filtering or banning premiums for competitive. That's not their priority. Their stance on the topic is we've done everything we could do within reason. The, the community as a large has rejected it. And because of all the reasons they gave for rejecting it, we're going to give those same reasons right back as an excuse for why a particular ship may or may not be overrepresented for some rank. That's basically what they're saying. You know, oh, Julius Caesar's really good in tier 5 rank. Well, it can be countered under the right circumstances, so deal with it. And that's all they can really do because the majority of the community is so vehemently against this. So... You know, that's how it works out. We are stuck with the decision. And, you know, obviously I'm happy that this means that they can't set a precedent of rebalancing ships, you know, releasing an overpowered version of the ship and then rebalancing it a tier higher later on. Riot Games kind of did this with champions, where they would have champions that would just be straight overpowered for the meta, and then they would redistribute that power by nerfing them. People could have spent direct money buying those champions, but Riot Games doesn't care because they want a balanced game. But that is real criticism of Riot Games because they really did that back in the day. So I understand the precedent that they don't want to set, and honestly, I'm right there with them, but I just feel like balance should be valued more than the community as a large seems to feel. And that's, that's, really, that's really my biggest takeaway from this. People just don't value balance the same way that I do. And many others. And you know, that's fine. That's whatever. Uh, I guess that's how we're going to live. And you know what? I also have this theory. What if this would have occurred with the armory up to date with all of the, you know, the 50 plus premium ships available for doubloons? Because really one of the biggest issues with the Julius Caesar to me was that it was being, re the refund was doubloons, and there was like maybe three or four ships that were sold for doubloons. You know, doubloons don't have a lot of value in the game currently, but it could with 50 plus ships available for people to choose to purchase. So I just, I, I accept this ruling. It's probably the, the right ruling based on the way companies are. You know, I I personally have a really good relationship with Wargaming, but I know that many in the community don't, and that's probably the majority, right, at this point. So, yeah, I, I get it. I get all the apprehension, and I understand it. So, I'm not disagreeing with this. I just personally value balance more than what has ultimately ended up being the announcement. That's it. So I'm very curious to hear what everyone else feels. Do you feel like the right solution has been found? Literally nothing has changed. Or do you feel like, you know, it would have been nice for some change to come through, whether it be a filtered uh, option for premiums that maybe they don't show up in select rank ran uh, random competitive scenario type situations? But then you could get into wargaming just arbitrarily deciding what is overpowered and what is underpowered. Like, maybe they filter out the Julius Caesar, but they leave the kamikaze. <laughs> right? Uh, that would be bad. Or they choose to omit the Belfast from competitive or scenario 
but they leave in the Nelson, and the Nelson's actually the most powerful ship for that particular objective. So, you know, what's overpowered? Is it overpowered in the sense that it makes it harder for player-controlled opponents to deal with you? Or is it overpowered in the sense that it provides you a lot of income or success against bots? You know, whatever. I think this is the most satisfactory because nothing changes and everything feels familiar. I'm cool with it. Leave in the comments what you think. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.